So it's customary on the channel. You already know, no device coverage is complete without a case journey. Now, I don't know with this particular device being the Fold 5, if there's gonna be like an entire case journey, you know, cases are kind of expensive. Um, and on top of that, I'm finding myself more and more drawn to using the S Pen. So kind of wanted to grab something that would allow me to use the S Pen on the go. So what better case to grab than the Samsung official slim case with the S Pen slot. So today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the S Pen slim case for the Z Fold 5. So getting right into it, you can already see we have the S Pen Slim case on deck, built in S Pen slot there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and crack open the packaging, get this bad boy unboxed, try not to make too much of a mess. Uh, I think we're good there. Mm, maybe not. Oh, there we go. All right, so got the case open from the bottom. Yeah, ripped the box, my bad. <laughs> But let's go ahead and see what we have inside. So throw the box off to the side there. See, we got some books and stuff, how to apply the case and all of that. Because with as with most foldable cases, this one is going to come with some adhesive strips. So it's you know kind of designed to kind of help you um, you know keep the the case on the actual device and things like that. But First thing I want to do is kind of play around with the little S Pen area there. So it says slide to pop up S Pen, slide to pop up S Pen. So I'm going to take this and just slide it down. I kind of need to have my nails to do. Oh, there we go. So you just, okay, cool. I like that. So you just slide it down. It props the S Pen up and then you just pull it out. I like that. That's pretty dope. So all right off the bat, I want to let y'all know this is not a Bluetooth S Pen. So you won't be able to do things like the whole, um, you know, using it to take pictures and all of that stuff, the whole magic wand, Harry Potter stuff. You're not going to get that with this particular S Pen. Um, typically, I'm using the S Pen Pro, so I, I do have, you know, more experience with that in a little bit of time that I've been really trying to use the S Pen, but I wanted something slim and light to kind of carry around with me. Um, best example is I'm actually going to be going to take my daughter to dance practice here in just about an hour or so, and I want to get some video editing done on the go. So I'm actually going to be editing this video from LumaFusion on the Z Fold 5 using this brand new S Pen. So. I'll be able to kind of give like a little follow up, but a lot of people were saying it just really felt weird and felt kind of slim, but in my opinion, man, I mean, maybe it's just because of the hand size, but this feels perfectly fine to me. Um, doesn't seem to necessarily be too big of a deal for me personally. Uh, let's see if we can get in the fold. And there's your S Pen in action. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's go ahead and hit that button. Make sure our button works. Yep. No issues at all. Let's go ahead and launch into the camera just to check. Yeah, you can see that I'm clicking the button and it's not taking any pictures. So no Bluetooth functionality with this one, but obviously S Pen functionality is always dope. But what's even more important is how the actual case itself is going to fit. So slotting that back in there, you're just going to slide it in that little space and just push down and you can see it slot in there. It does kind of give a little bit of a shake. Like if I go up and down, I can kind of feel it, feel like it's a little bit loose, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna pop out or anything like that. So that's definitely dope. And again, you just push that down and then push it down and then actually pull. If I had nails, this would be a lot easier, but there you go. Just pull it down and then pull it out. There's your S Pen silo there. So still can't wait for a future where we can get the S Pen actually slotted in the device at the bottom. Uh, fingers crossed for next year, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get the case on the phone. Take off that sticker. We don't need that. All right. Lock that into place. Typically, the back covers, you don't need any type of adhesive. Let me take this off too, because obviously this is here to stay. All right. And now we're going to see what else is in the box. We obviously got, looks like some extra S Pen tips here. In case you need those i'm just going to put these off to the side too and then here's the front cover which is the bane of the existence of all 
foldable cases. The front is always the weirdest, the hardest part to get right for case manufacturers. I do like the fact that Samsung adds a ton of adhesive. So you got an adhesive strip here on this side, here at the bottom, here at this side, and some on the top. So shouldn't really have any issues. Like I said, I don't plan on, you know, doing as many cases as, you know, traditionally because foldable cases are way more expensive. But let's go ahead and get these adhesive strips off. And we'll get this one off. And I like that Samsung actually separates the adhesive. So like if I get that in focus, uh, let me move this out the way. You can kind of see it there. Like they actually separate the adhesive. So you get adhesive on both sides. It's a little bit more precise, but that's pretty dope. I like that. And then we'll take, oh, did I get it off there? Nope, it looks like it actually might've broke. Ah, I hate when it does that. That's fine. Ooh, got that pretty far up in my nail. That hurt. All right. Let's get that off. And then we'll come on this side and we'll try to get this one off without any issues. There you go. And we got the two ones here on the bottom. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and slot this on. I'm just going to unfold it a bit first. And then we're gonna do that. And then just lock this bad boy in. So apply some pressure on all sides. Let me move that out the way. All that extra paper and stuff sticking to me. All right, so as you can see, we got it on there. Just trying to make sure it's like 100% on there. And you already know in terms of like the feel, absolutely fantastic. It is more of like a soft touch. So it does have a bit more grip than like your typical, you know, hardcover back case or whatever. But it, again, it's not gonna be like, say like the Kadabi sheath material or something like that, where it's like really texturized, but does give a little bit of extra grip there. Does make it a lot easier to open the device. So that's always dope. And then obviously you got your buttons here. Buttons, no problem getting to those. Let's try out that fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor, absolutely no issues getting to that either. Yep, so we're good to go in terms of the fingerprint sensor and the buttons. And again, fit is on point. I just wanna see if we have any issues in terms of the sides. Nah, don't seem to have any issues with the sides. That's dope. I like I like this. I like this. Now, it does feel a little bit weird to have the little S pin portion here, like on the back of my hand when I'm holding it. But I know, honestly, I'm sure it's something that I'll just get used to over time with just holding the device. So super dope case here. I'm actually really, really feeling it because, like I said, it's going to allow me to use this S pen and get some video editing done on the go, which was kind of the purpose of this whole entire purchase. So that is the Samsung official slim case with the S pen slot. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below with this bad boy. Um, but as always, y'all already know, appreciate y'all for all the love and the support. This is Ike's Tech Talk. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.